DJ TV. subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first persons to know whenever we drop a new video now let's take you straight up to the main news Ahmed Lawan say Buari are not the first subsidy remover hey guys now still DJ MTV Daily News now that they watch so Senate President Ahmed Lawa don't talk say President Muhammadu Buhari not direct anyone for inside administration to implement the removal of petroleum subsidy for inside Nigeria. This one they come days and weeks after Nigeria don't provoke follow reporters say they'll call remove first subsidy for inside Nigeria. Although some group don't talk say that one no go fit happen. Especially the one we call like see they say. They go pay five five thousand, give every poor Nigerians because of the fuel subsidy removal. So we they won't carry out. But inside one video, so we won't watch now. We call here and directly from the senior president, Matt. I mean, Lawa when say in go a constituency and during the recess, he says so. But waiting in here, when Nigeria has a complaint, said it did not make sense at all. So now he decided to visit President Muhammadu Buhari, who will be the leader of the country. He said, and he they happy. To announce the Nigeria and say, why we not direct anybody making remove petroleum subsidy for anywhere? Maybe we we'll watch the video with the comeback. None of us are very concerned with the recent um, agitations uh, for protests uh, and um, people, many citizens were so concerned, our constituents across the country. Are very concerned that uh, the federal government will remove uh, the petroleum subsidy. And for us, as parliamentarians, as legislators representing the people of Nigeria, uh, this must be of interest to us. And we've just finished our recess. We had gone home to our constituencies and senatorial districts, and we felt the the pulse of our people. And I found it necessary to uh, visit Mr. President as the, uh, the leader of our government and our leader uh, in the country uh, to discuss uh, this particular issue of concern to, to Nigerians. And I'm happy uh, to inform Nigerians that Mr. President never told anyone that the petroleum subsidy should be removed. Uh, I know and I agree that the subsidy is very heavy, but I think we must never transfer the burden to the citizens. I believe that we need to look at the, uh, the quoted figure of um, maybe 100 million liters that people claim we are consuming. Is it re I'm paying? Uh, either under recoveries or subsidy. Is it really 100 uh, million liters per day? How on earth are we consuming that? We, we need to look at this critically and see how we can find the truth. Because I am not convinced that within the boundaries of Nigeria we are consuming 100 uh, million liters. Probably uh, our uh, neighboring countries uh, may benefit from this. Can't we do something about it? It's a failure on us if we are not able to control it, this particular aspect of smuggling out the petrol and then in return push the burden to, to the ordinary uh, citizen. So I, I want to commend Mr. President uh, for still uh keeping this um philosophy of ensuring that the most ordinary nigerian does not suffer in any way government is meant to serve people and the essence of government like we all know 
is to protect the lives and property and welfare of the people. And that petrol aspect is part of the welfare. It may not be exactly the way we want it in the implementation of subsidy, but that is our challenge as an administration, as a government. So we need to come together, both the, the legislature, the National Assembly, and those people and institutions and organizations that are responsible in dealing with this matter to find a solution to this. Now welcome back from that video. If this is your first time where you see any of our video, make don't forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Make you also follow us for our social media platform on Facebook, on YouTube and also on Instagram. Make we go back into the main story. Now we go record CDJ TV News all earlier to report say um, the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zenab Ahmed, don't talk. Say the federal government will only make provision for petroleum subsidy for the first six months of 2022. But contrary to all these things now, so we call for the video we watch. We see as the Senate President can talk. Say the lawmakers are they worried about the agitation and protests across the country on the matter. Because say as they reach their constituency, Nigeria is not they happy at all. Say they want to remove fuel subsidy. So in court talk, say, in go discuss with Mr. President. He say, and in the inform Nigeria, say, Buhari will be the president of Nigeria. Not talk anything like that. According to the Senate president, what he talk, be say, President Muhammadu Buhari not tell anybody, say, they go remove petroleum subsidy. He say, and those of the way they represent the people, know how the people already, they feel, and how they stress her over and over again. Say, the thing go too much for them, as a burden for their life. That's the way he be talk again, because say, and in the dubbed uh, over the claim say uh, Nigeria has they consume 100 million liters of petroleum every day. He said that won't join for this uh, level of consumption of smuggling activity. He said he not believe him at all. He said how Nigerians say they consume 100 million liters of petroleum every day. He said that won't mean say uh, the neighboring countries so that they benefit from this smuggling. He said, as this thing don't be now, so he said, need don't they say me they critically investigate this matter to discover the truth, whether which country or not, or who they smuggle these things. He said, because this smuggling now, so of the petroleum product, he said, a failure on the part of the government. He said, and if he contain this thing, he said, the thing don't make sense at all. He said, so the situation now don't push the body, go give the ordinary citizen for inside this country. So, eh, with the way the matter don't be so, they will get to the root of this. So, my people, when I don't see them, when I don't see what you will get for now this money, eh, the consign over the eh, fuel subsidy matter, so when they see they will remove for inside 2022, now be the issue. A lot of Nigerians, a lot of people in the states of this country, they don't grieve for that matter at all, especially the NAS people, eh, when they represent the student, the youth of this country. The talk say in no go fee happen eh, last year when they interviewed there. If even uh, the NLC, a lot of the plants, they won't go on strike. Say, how you go remove fuel source the money? A lot of talk here and there. And that's when I give the lawmakers consign. And the uh, Senate President, I uh, met Lawa and go meet President Mama Dubwari. We don't finally talk, say, he not send anybody message to remove fuel source. The. So now, who Nigerians won't believe? Who my country people, how now use on our two crocodile ear and mind to hear and see this matter? On our feet, say, uh, somebody they play pranks on Nigerians because we no go expect say the minister of uh, finance and national planning don't come at contact say uh, for the first uh, six months of uh, 2022 uh, the subsidy issue they go remove her now uh, Senate president don't talk say uh, Buhari say he don't know uh, how the matter they come around because he not send anybody a message now who do you want believe make una drop out and think about this matter for inside the comment section below. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video. But before we go, we just want to let you know that we're also on Facebook and on Instagram at DJMTV. Also check out our website at www.djmtv.news. There we drop news 247 non-stop. Do not forget that you could also place your advert with us here on DJMTV News and be rest assured that your business will get to the desired market. Well, so we'll come your way again with another edition of DJN TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Lauro Favor. Yeah. Yeah.
peaceful and people doesn't know they don't like us. Welcome to DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. Some of the delegates are asking the question. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV.